All right, what's happening, guys? So, are you like me? You like to add some music to your videos, you know, get some music in there, get some feeling going. But sometimes you edit your videos and it doesn't match the length of your music clips, right? You're like, oh man, I like the ending of the song, but like my clips aren't, my video's not that long. So, what do I do? Well, today we're going to talk about how you can make any music clip any length that you want. It just takes a little bit of uh, listening to the music, a little bit of a crossfade, and uh, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. The hardest part is trying to figure out where does it make sense to make those cuts in the music. Let's jump into Resolve. I've got a couple songs. We're going to work through some examples here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to really make a song any length that you want. Let's check this out. As always with audio work, I'm going to go with my uh, headphones here because everything just sounds a little bit better in headphones, right? All right, so when it comes to making a song any length that you want, Really, it's not as hard as you might think. So, for example, I've got a song here. Let's just play through a little bit of this. I don't have any video with it because it's just, just talking about the music and how you can make it any length that you want here. So let's just play through a little bit of this. You can hear what this sounds like. Oh, and by the way, I do get my music from uh, Artlist and from Audio. Links in the description below if you want some discounts to that stuff. This video is not sponsored or anything like that. But if you're interested, that's what I use. And uh, they're both great services. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, now let's say I don't want the song to be much longer than that. How do I shorten this guy up? Well, I know I like the ending of the song. So let's just come to the ending here and see what that sounds like. Okay, so that sounds very similar to the beginning there. So what I can do is I'm just going to come around. Ah, right there looks good. I'm going to make a cut. Commander Control B. And I'm just going to take my ending. Let's drag it back here. Okay, and I'm actually just going to delete the rest of it for now. Let's zoom in here a little. Now, the important part when you're trying to do this is to find a place in the song where things kind of match up. You want the same kind of beats, the same kind of rhythm. The crossfade's going to help blend it together for you, but you want to listen to the music. You don't want to go with two completely different types uh, of music in the song. You know, maybe it starts out slow, then gets fast. You want to try and match it up the best you can in. Got to use your ears for that. So let's see what we got here. So there, you see, you can really hear the change and what happened there, right? So let's say maybe, uh, you know, maybe I need to stretch this out a little. And looking at the waveforms helps too. I do that all the time. I use the waveforms to kind of help guide me a little bit. So let's stretch this guy out. So you just kind of find a spot that looks like it might make sense. Now let's, uh, let's give this a try here. I'm going to actually turn on my magnet guy here. See if this makes sense. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, if we throw a little crossfade on there, it's going to really help kind of clean things up. So come on up to your effects library up here. Okay, click on that. Come up here to audio transitions. And then typically, I'm always going to use the 0 dB crossfade. So go ahead, grab that. I'm going to drop it on there. Now, we can try the default and see how that works out. Or we can uh, make this a little bit bigger. And sometimes I'll do that, make it a little bit bigger. So let's just see uh, how this sounds here with the crossfade. It's default setting here. So that ain't so bad. Now we could maybe even shorten it a little bit. Now that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty seamless. If you didn't know that the cut was there, you're not going to hear it, right? And in some cases, we may need to stretch that out. And I've got a few more songs here just so you can kind of see how to work through this process with different types of music here. So I think this one's pretty good. I would, uh, would kind of leave it as it is here. Play through. And let's say you even needed it shorter for some reason. You know, we can... Come in and let's say, you know, we just shorten it way up because we need to for whatever reason. And I'm just going to make my crossfade a little bigger here. Now let's see how that sounds. Okay, not quite as good, but it depends on how it's going to match up with your video clips because you want everything to work out good, you know, as far as timing and everything like that. So you got to kind of time it with your video clips, but... It's easy to make the song any length that you need, and it's good to kind of keep the original ending of the song so that way it, it ends at something that makes sense instead of, you know, if I come in here and I get rid of this, just stopping like this. All right, that's a little weird, right? A little weird. So, all right, let's move on to the next song here. Let's see what we got. So here's our next song. And if we jump ahead a little here... Okay, so we got the gist of what the song sounded like. Again, you'd match it up with your video, start the song. I would always use the beginning of the song and the end of the song just so that it starts where it makes sense and it ends where it makes sense, you know? So let's see what the ending sounds like here. Now, when I look at the waveforms, I can see we've got, you know, some kind of similar pattern going on here. So I'm going to start right here and see what this sounds like.
Okay, so, I mean, I could even just come right to the very last one here, you know, if I wanted to make that cut. And uh, let's say I needed, you know, to bring it back a little bit, but not not too much. I don't know. Let's bring it back, like, somewhere around here. Now, when I'm looking at the waveforms, you can see the patterns and you can see how uh, the music is playing through, right, based on the waveforms, right, where we've got our beats, you know, your taller things here is your beat. Um, if you're not musically inclined at all, you know, it's like when you're, you know, grooving to the beat wherever that is, that is going to be a lot of times where it makes sense to make these transitions, you know? So if I just come back and let's say I want to put this part right here, line it up with one of these spikes, let's just uh, drag it back a little. Let's say like right there, let's see what that sounds like. All right, so it's very abrupt. Now let's see if we throw a crossfade on there, what does that sound like? I'm going to stretch it out a little. Okay, so that one's eh, not great, but I'm, I would move it around and play with it, you know, see where it's going to fit in the best. But it's really the same technique no matter what music you have. You want to listen for the beat. You want to see where it makes sense to make those cuts and make those transitions. And a lot of times if you've got the video going on, obviously you're going to have a video going on in the background, right? But the biggest part is just making sure that you find a spot that makes sense to make those transitions. And most of the time people are going to be paying attention to the video and that music is just going to kind of be like, you know, underlaid under the video. And they're not going to notice if there's like a little transition in there between the music. Just People just aren't going to notice that. It's not something they're going to pick out. They're going to be focusing on the visual and that music is just going to help, you know, add the emotion and feeling to your video, right? So let's try another one here. Let's see what we got here. Now let's say we just wanted the first little bit here to, I don't know, around here. So let's say I just want to grab the end here. What does this ending sound like? I know it's an abrupt ending because I can tell by looking at the waveforms here, right? So let's just hear how this sounds at the end. Now that's pretty abrupt. So on this one, I would probably eh, fade it out just a little bit, you know, just like that. You know, something like that. You could even do it a little longer if you want. So let's, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to grab any spot here and make a little break. And then I'm going to drag this guy back towards the beginning of my clip here. So let's say we just want a nice little short section. Delete this. Let's zoom in here. All right, so let's see. So now, like I said, I'd probably want to stretch this out a little bit more and uh, maybe even want to fade it in a little. I don't know. Let's give it a try. See what this sounds like. All right, so now that doesn't sound good, right? Let's throw in a crossfade, see if it blends it together for us here. I'm going to stretch that out just a little bit. Now let's play through that again, see what we got. Boom, there you go. You've got a cool little uh, segment there. You could use it for whatever you want, make it any length you want. And you could do this with any kind of music, you know, make it whatever you want. You need a little filler clip. It needs to be, you know, five seconds, needs to be 10 seconds, whatever it might be. This is how I would do it. And most of the time, if you get spots that, you know, kind of line up with the music, as far as the beat, the sound, maybe the instruments that are going on, you throw a little crossfade on there, you're going to be all set and it's going to blend together pretty seamless. Nobody's going to know the difference. And just for fun, I've got one more example here, something a little mellower. Let's check this out, see how this sounds here. Now, what's the middle of the song sound like? Because let's say I can see that, okay, it gets quiet here and then comes back up. Well, what's that sound like? Maybe I want to use that part and not the actual beginning. So let's say I want to go with this part. I don't want to actually use the beginning. I want to come up here and I can see that, you know, it's louder and then it gets a little quieter based on the waveforms. Love looking at the waveforms. They tell you a lot about the music, the beat, and kind of what the song is going to be like. So let's say I want to come back here somewhere. Now I can see, if I look at the waveforms, I can see two little spikes here. Now that's where the guy's hitting a guitar, if you listen. Right? So let's just start right there. I'm going to cut that. We'll get rid of the first part. Now, let's say I just want it to be a pretty short clip. So once it gets up to here, I want to chop it off and uh, we're going to end it with whatever the ending is. So let's hear what the end sounds like of this song. So I'm just going to pick a spot, make a cut, delete this, woo, drag this guy over. We'll put these together and see kind of how they match up. And then we're going to make adjustments. We can always add a little more to the clip, uh, take a little way. Whatever works for your clip or the particular music clip, that's what we can do. So let's see how this sounds.
Okay, so that doesn't really match up too well at all. So I'm gonna see what else we have here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna throw the crossfade on. I'm gonna stretch this guy out quite a bit just to see. Because what I want to happen is I heard a lot of drums in this section right here, right? So I want those drums to be faded in with the guitar over here. So see how that works. All right, so maybe not the best transition. I'd probably still look around, move things around, and try and get it to blend a little bit better. But you can see how it brought those drums, right? It brought them back over top of the clip and faded them in, you know, with the rest of the music there. That kind of thing can work out pretty good where, you know, there's two different parts of the music, like the drums that we have a lot here in the second clip, and it kind of fades it together. So that's uh, one way that you can do it is you stretch out that crossfade, and it's just going to help blend everything together a little bit better. All right, that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this, you want to help support the channel, check out some links in the description below. I got a little buy me a coffee. You want to buy me a coffee? That would be awesome. Help support the channel. Got some merch down there. Uh, got some links to Amazon for some things, some affiliate links. So if you're interested in any of that stuff and want to help support the channel, that would be awesome. So I hope you guys found this one helpful. If you did, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.